kid, I've flown from one side of this galaxy to the other. And I've seen a lot of strange stuff, but I've never seen anything to make me believe there's one all-powerful force controlling everything. There's no mystical energy field controlling my intros. How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Trailmakers Creations by That Dom Guy. Today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at defense. Defense. So, combat defense. First thing we're going to be taking a look at is the auto aim turret. Yippers. Fully auto aim. We're looking at it in build mode here because it is auto, so as soon as I spawn it in, it's just going to want to shoot me is what an auto aim turret should do. What we can see here we've got sensors placed all around the front side as well as the back side set to the maximum 50 meters of course. We have a cannon in the center here which we can actually remove our control from. So that is triggered by these sensors as well and we've got all of our tiny cannons on the outside here simply connected with some little pipe pieces little 90 degree angles We've got those connected on all sides. Those are all connected to all of these sensors as well. As far as in the frame, we've got some weights down here to hold it in place rather than using an anchor. That way we can place it wherever and we don't get that herky jerky anchor action. We got armor plates on the bottom to keep it nice and flat, some slope pieces, and this is all connected inside here to a helicopter engine, which is set to two for speed. Don't need it super fast. Don't need it wobbling all over the place. It still works very well. So, as soon as we spawn this in, and we got a couple of uh, red lights under here as well, just to give it a warning, warning look. Danger Will Robinson. The seat is just for rebuilding purposes. Uh, it doesn't need a seat, it's fully automatic as soon as you spawn it in. But it's easier to rebuild it if it gets destroyed, if it gets destroyed by finding the seat and rebuilding it. All right, so let's spawn this in and see what she does. Well, let's get out of the way here. A great place to spawn it in is next to the containers. We will spawn it in right between these containers here. Get out of the way. You can see how it targets the containers. Anything within the 50 meter range. See, it's fairly accurate. Now that we finally have fast bullets, the bullets actually fire and leave the gun when the sensors detect something. So as soon as the sensor detects something, it fires, and it's actually fairly accurate as far as what to shoot at. As long as it's on level ground, it works really well. Or as long as there's nothing within 50 meters of it. So that's fun to try and set up in a couple of areas, like say you set one over here next to these barrels. Take out the barrels, no problem. But yeah, set one up like that in an open area and then try and drive past it. Oh, hey! And spawn in a vehicle, see if you can take it out. So, we'll say if we were in our post apocalyptic truck and we came across this valley and we're looking to see, hey, what the hell is that thing? Oh, hey, 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 get away, get away. Oh, hey, 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 oh. That's just about driving by. Look at that, just mangled my wheels, man. Man, really? Okay, you wanna play like that? You wanna play like that? All right, let's try with number one first. Let's take out the turret before the turret takes us out. Oh, 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 boom. Man, he's gotta finish us off, of course. Let's try our light. Spotlight. We take them out. Spotlight cannon. Oh, nice. Look at that. One shot. Pow. Impressive. 
impressive. Alright, let's jump out over here. Let's go rebuild this sucker. Well, I didn't think I'd be able to take it out that quick. Repair. Run away. Oh, of course. Oh, now all of a sudden you see it. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty good auto turret. Takes out the fat guys. Oh, get away from that barrel. Get away from that barrel. Oh, man. One wheel. One wheel. Gotta love that. The way it takes it apart, slow pieces like that. Hey, hey, hey. Shoot the vehicle, don't shoot me. There, how's that for post-apocalyptic? That's what as post-apocalyptic as it's gonna get. Alright, so our second build for defense. We're gonna leave those ones right in there. So the next build we're gonna be taking a look at is this sweet little house. Isn't that nice, cute little house? Nice little red roof. Looks like it's got a little door on the front. This is actually a little defensive house because when you hit number one, it open up like this. Inside we got the stinger with multiple pulse cannons. This is called the AA Super Tur Super Turret. Wow, I learned my Englishes. So this rotates on the spot. Also angles up and angles down. Like, not even fair, this is a pulse cannon, so it just has waves of death. Space bar. So this is an AA turret designed for taking out airplanes, which is why we have this spread. See out the front here, it actually fires from the top down. That gives you a decent spread in your bullets. Good for taking down planes that may be coming. But we'll give you an extra advantage with this, which is why it's a super turret. It's because number two takes you up into the air. So now if there's someone flying around in a plane, you can just hit number two until you're up to the height that you want to be at. And then you can rotate in the air this way, it stabilizes itself, and it actually goes forward in the direction that you're shooting to counter the torque from the cannon firing. So it moves forward slightly, so then you can actually come up here in the air and you can play with the planes while they're up here. So this would be a good challenge. We'll get a couple of guys in planes, a couple of guys in these, and uh, see who can take out who first. So this is really good anti aircraft. Jets or bombers flying around. Left control will take you down as well. And of course, number one folds it up so you have some defense while you're in the air. Your little house. Safety first. Oh, 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 what's happening here? Kaboom. Oh. And it just falls apart. That's what happens when you move the stinger, <laughs> the guns inside the house. Try not to do that. Can do it. So, yep, that is the AA super turret. Flying turret. That was fun to build. Complicated trying to get everything together. There is a couple of uh, piston glitches in there where we actually have our pistons glitching through a couple of pieces and then everything unfolding to the bottom some pistons ejecting out the top so we can get decent clearance up here of course our helicopter engines to keep everything stable lots of hinges and yes lots of gimbals but gimbals do work they actually work best for maintaining height in the air so I've got some uh, as you can see speed sensors facing down so as soon as my gimbal jets activate it goes to drop they kick in and they use those gimbal jets to keep you level in the air. They work really good. 
it's self-stabilizing, seeing how they only pull in one direction, so. And yeah, left shift brings us down. Number one opens everything up. There's a pivoting base as well, so that you can come down to the ground. You can still pivot while you're on the ground. Still fully functional on the ground, spacebar fires. But we also have the ability to fly up in the air if it's easier to deal with planes from up there. So cool, that's all I got for you in this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hitting that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment. Working on multiple builds from the comment section. We'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.